In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
Amen. Dear children, you're most welcome to Children's Liturgy on Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all. Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent, year B. Imagine the joy that we are getting closer and closer to Christmas. And guess what? All the candles are lit. All the four candles have been lit. The candle of joy. The candle of joy is this one. The candle of peace. The candle of hope. And the candle of love that we have lit today. Let us humble ourselves in our homes there where you are. So that we are able to pray together. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. My Bible tells me so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our oh, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed are the fruit of the womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Last Sunday, dear children, we answered a question from one of you about the liturgical calendar and just to remind ourselves of what happens in the lit on the liturgical calendar, the events of the liturgical calendar. We have Advent, we have Christmas season, we have ordinary time, we have Lent, we have Easter season, and then we also have ordinary time. And we said that we have a cycle of three years. Year A, where we pray with faith. Year B, we meditate on the sacraments. And year C, we meditate on the commandments of God. So please, children, remember that. And thank you for asking. Please keep asking. Today, being the last Sunday in Advent, we are going to have some of you dear children to light up the Christmas tree. Christmas tree is one of the greatest symbols during this time. Do you know what the Christmas tree represents? The Christmas tree 
represents life and the Christmas tree is made in a triangular form a triangle hmm? triangle which means the Trinity the Father Son and the Holy Spirit so the Christmas tree represents new life the new life of Jesus Christ and the importance of the Trinity God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit being in our midst so thank you dear children who have lit up the Christmas tree also last Sunday dear children we had about one of the greatest messengers of God and today we shall hear of another messenger but who remembers the other messenger the messenger we talked about last Sunday John the Baptist yes John the Baptist was telling us to prepare the way so that Jesus will be born let us humble ourselves attentively we hear the reading so that we are able to know who the messenger is speak to us dear Jesus for you are our preacher open our hearts to receive your word the first reading a reading from the gospel according to Luke Chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. In the, sixth month, in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee named Nazareth. He had a message for a young woman promised in marriage to a man named Joseph, who was a descendant of King David. Her name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Mary was deeply troubled by the angel's message and she wondered what his words meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary. God has been gracious to you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be a great man and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will make him a king as his ancestor David was, and he will be the king of the descendants of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary said to the angel, I am a virgin. How then can this be? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and God's power will rest upon you. For this reason, the Holy Child will be called the Son of God. Remember your relative Elizabeth. It is said that she cannot have children, but she herself is now six months pregnant even though she's very old, for there is nothing that God can do. I am the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it happen to me as you have said. And then the angel left her. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse... 26 to 38 we hear the story that prepares us for the birth of Jesus we hear how the birth of Jesus is being announced through an angel you remember the name of the angel angel Gabriel God 
used different messengers to prepare us for the birth of Jesus Christ, for the birth of his son. So today we see Angel Gabriel visiting Mary and telling her to prepare herself to be able to give birth to Jesus. But what lessons do we learn from that? We hear what Mary says. She's afraid because she's not sure. But she remembers that everything is possible with God. And she says, I am the handmaid of God. I am God's servant. Let it be done according to the will of God. So the lesson we learn, the first one, is the lesson of not fearing and also to trust in God, to trust in his will. Then another lesson that we learn is to be humble. Remember, we have been talking about being humble. John the Baptist showed us how we should be humble. When we acknowledge Jesus, we are showing that we are humble. Because John the Baptist said, I cannot touch his shoelaces. Now, Mother Mary is telling us, I am the servant of God. You know who a servant is? A servant is usually that person who is not, who is regarded as the lowest. But imagine the mother of Jesus saying that she's a servant. That shows that she's humble. And she calls us also to be humble. Because when we are humble, then we are able to listen to what God is asking of us. The message of today is the message of love. God's love. Because it is because God loves us so much that he's giving us his only son his only son Jesus to be born so that we are able to have peace, joy, love, hope and most importantly we are able to have all the light. We are able to overcome all the darkness. So dear children, God wants us to be messengers of love. Messengers of his love to each other in our homes, with our relatives, in our communities. God of love, help us to be your messengers on earth by showing your love to all people in everything we do. Let us have our prayer intentions. We pray for the church that church leaders may live in humility to spread the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. We pray for our country that we may live in peace and receive each other as brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. We pray for our families that all children and parents are united and peaceful. We pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. We pray for the dead that their souls may rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. Alleluia, alleluia, salopo. Our memory verse, dear children, is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37. For there is nothing that God cannot do. 
for there is nothing that God cannot do. Dear children, today's gospel is calling us to have hope and trust in God. And also, it is calling us to pray with complete trust. For example, this Christmas season, if you'd like your parents to buy for you a new dress, start praying. A new shirt, pray. And also, if you would like to help someone out there, pray that God provides for you so that you're able to provide for that person. And by the way, Christmas is time for sharing. And there is nothing that God cannot do. There is nothing impossible with God. All of us can love, all of us can share whatever we have. We are going to have various activities in our homes. The first activity we saw our friends lighting up the Christmas tree. And by the way, we should not limit ourselves to only buying an artificial Christmas tree. If you have any tree at home, you can design a Christmas tree. You can also make your own Christmas decorations to put on the trees and one of them is you write your your names as members of the family for example i'm dorothy in my family i have maria i have maggie i have rita i have helena i write their names and then i put them on the christmas tree and i decorate my christmas tree the most important thing is love now the activity is let us start already to look out for the Christmas trees. We can use the natural Christmas trees. We can use the artificial Christmas trees if it is possible for us. But let's be as creative as we can. Then we are called to be messengers of love. Yes, God's love. God's love is so wonderful that we should share it with everyone. Design your own Christmas card. It is very possible. We have been in the lockdown. Maybe there are some books that we did not use. You can just get just that small a, a paper from there. Design your own Christmas card. Let your mommy or your daddy take a photo of it and post it to your auntie, to your judge, to your friend, just to share this message of God's love. There is no greater message than the message of God's love because it touches everyone's heart. So let's design our Christmas cards. Let's make the Christmas tree in our possible means. Eh? Okay, let's live in our means. We do what is possible for us. And I would like to thank you 
dear children for always participating in the program those who made the the advent wreath and you have been lighting the candles all through thank you very much those who are preparing to make the, the cards and also the Christmas trees and even to wrap the gifts and everything thank you very much yes Jesus loves me yes Jesus loves me yes Jesus loves me my Bible tells me so in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, thank you, dear children, for watching. Thank you, dear parents, for always tuning in. Thank you, our priests, for all the guidance, the other animators out there. Thank you for your input. And together, let us build this family of faith and prayer. Remember, subscribe on our YouTube channel. Send your messages, Christmas messages to your families. And by the way, another activity that I'd forgotten to share with you is have your family Christmas carols as a family. Sing a song and send to us so that it will be played during the Christmas season. Please don't forget Create that family choir, sing a song together and send it to us. Together, we keep building this family of faith and prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye. See you next time on Sunday. Remember to pray on Christmas Day. Thank you.